need to understand. Spirit husband are spiritual entities from the spirit world that falls in love with a physical man or woman and have an unholy spiritual affair with them. What you call dream is reality. You sleep and make love with a woman. That's a spirit wife. It happens over and over. And you say it doesn't matter. You say it's a normal thing. And when you wake up, you find out that something that has to do with your body is pushed out and you wet your body. And you call it an ordinary dream. A dream that translated and moved your body. And you wet your body. And you call it an ordinary dream. That's why some men can never fertilize the egg of a woman. Because the sperms that should produce a baby is taken in the spirit world. Some ladies can never give birth. Why? They have already delivered their babies in the spirit world. For every sexual intercourse with that precaution drug, there is nothing else than pregnancy. That's why when you make love in the reign of the spirit, a wife has carried your seed or a husband has carried your seed. That's why some ladies can never have husband. The spirit husband is more jealous than the physical man. Men will come around you. He will put anger and annoyance in you to chase them away. You don't see anything good in any man that proposes you. You think you are the one delaying yourself. You don't know that there is a spirit controlling you. It's a spirit husband. You need deliverance. When you have spirit husband, even though you are married, it will block the womb. Not to have a baby. Sometimes the spirit husband will purposely torment your physical man. Sometimes we make the man die prematurely because he wants to take possession of you. You need to understand that a married woman can have spirit husband. A single lady can have spirit husband. A married man can have spirit wife. A, a single man can have spirit wife. And that's why you must understand the role of taking charge spiritually. Sometimes the spirit husband will use your image to appear to the man that wants to marry you and pursue the man with cutlass. And at the end, the man see you as a winch and run away. Sometimes the spirit husband will purposely make a lady at the age of 27 looking 60. Why? To change your face. Make you look ugly. When it's time for deliverance, some of you are running from deliverance. It is not me you are affecting. I'm, I'm already free. I'm only joining God to free you. Whether you open your eyes, me, I don't want anybody to touch me. I don't want to talk. Don't run. You are the one that will suffer it. I'm not the one that will suffer it. You need to understand. You know what is going on. I have handled a case of a lady. She said, physically, the spirit will appear. She will see the man enter the room. There are some of them. You are here. We enter the room mess her up, sleep with her physically and disappear. That, that's a level of an higher level of spirit husband. If you are experiencing that and you think it's normal, you are on your way to death. People who have spiritual husband don't live long because it will get to a particular point, the husband will pull them to the realm of the spirit. And how to pull them is to kill their flesh and pull their spirit in. There are men of God who tell you once saved, forever saved. They still masturbate. They can't tell you. They are under the pressure and influence of the devil. Any attempt to fight deliverance ministry is to have the spirit of Antichrist. It's satanic and a myopic understanding when you fight deliverance ministry. You don't need to call yourself a deliverance minister. Every man of God should understand our assignment is to cast out devils. 
wherever they may be. Number four, areas you need deliverance from generational cause. There are there are problem you are going through now that is as a result of what your father and mother or your grandfather went through and is affecting you. I am a God that visit the iniquity of the father from the first generation to the second generation to the third generation even to the fourth generation and if a generation is 50 years it means a cause can travel for 250 years that's why you have to go back in the realm of the spirit and disconnect yourself for 250 years of idolatry in your family foundation where they have dedicated you to Oloku, where they have dedicated you to Songo, where they have dedicated you to Obatala and disconnect yourself and say in the family of Igela, I Joshua, I decide to start on Christ, the solid rock, every other foundation of Malamic connection, of Islamic connection that can ruin and truncate my destiny. I disconnect myself and build myself on the solid rock, which is Christ. Somebody say professor. Somebody say Holy Ghost. Open my fire. Holy Ghost. Open my fire. Where are you? No! You can't know. You can't. Uh, no! Why don't you want to leave this body? No! I don't want to leave it. Uh. I don't want to leave this body. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Can't it into her. Uh? Yes! I'm the strong man in her. Yes! Speak out. What have you done to her? What? I won't tell you. Don't leave me. Uh-huh. So where do you want to go? I will tell you. Uh-huh. If you leave me, I will tell you. You want to run? No. Uh, how can I run? You, you. Are you not a man? Me too, I'm a man. You are a man? Yes. You want to fight me? No. Oliver? Why are you holding me like that? Oh yeah. You want to fight me? Yes. You are a man? Yes. You are a man? Yes. Walk like a man. Ah. Hey. How long have you been in this body? You want to know? Yeah. You, you cannot know. Because. So you're a man? Yes. You're a man? Yes. So what's your mission? My mission? Uh uh. Wait. You are holding me. Don't you know I'm a man? Uh uh. Don't hold that man again. Oh. Leave the man. Oh. Why are you holding this man now? Uh uh. Stay one place now. Men used to stay one place too now. Men? Uh. Uh-huh. That's why I'm working. Okay. You said you want to fight me. Me? Uh. If you want to fight me, I'll fight you. Uh, okay, let's fight now. You want to fight me? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Do you really mean it? Yes. Uh, I can fight you. Uh-uh. Yes. Fight. Now fight me now. Tell me the truth first. Yes, now nice. so let us fight. We should fight? Yes. We should fight? Yes. No, I'm not going to fight with you because if I fight with you, you go just faint. Ah! Uh, yes. Okay. Let me faint. I want us to fight. Oh. No. Uh-uh. No, I don't want you to faint. Ah! Uh-huh. Because I'm seeing you wearing white. Ah! Uh-huh. It will stain. It will stain. My white will stain. It will stain now. It can never stain. How? It's the purest white. Oh. So what do you want to do? You want to fight me? Me? Uh. 